on YouTube, it's PJ with another video coming at you guys. Um, except this time, the video is going to be a little different. I've been telling you in the past that I was going to let you meet my girlfriend, Kiera, and now I feel like it's the perfect time to do that. So, uh, Kiera? Hey guys, I'm Kiera. So good to finally meet you guys. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't want to just leave you guys with just meeting her and ending the video. So we have a few questions that we're going to answer. Hopefully we answer them to the best of our ability and not get mad at the answers or re even remember what the answers are. But, uh, Kira, how you feeling about that? I'm ready. Let's go. Alright, so question number one is where and when did we first meet? Kira, you go first. Okay. So, if my memory serves me right, the first time we met, it had to have been back in 2010-2011, like around summertime, well, spring, summertime, I guess, one or the other. And I was at his grandmother's house with my mom, and we decided, everybody was like, well, let's just go out on the creek, and I was just kind of like the creek okay so i'm gonna just stop right there and let me see if he remembers the exact man time. all i remember is i got on my four wheeler one day and somebody else was on the four wheeler and i didn't know who it was <laughs> and i was just like okay who is this riding my four wheeler and i guess that's when we met uh i never asked him for a name or anything i just heard my dad say her name and I was like, oh, I guess that's Kiera. And that was that. But anyways, <laughs> next question. Uh, what was your first impression of me? I'll go first. Like I said, I didn't even know who she was. I wasn't really trying to figure out who she was. I was just trying to figure out who was on my four-wheeler. And <laughs> first impression was like, well, Somebody on my four wheeler. I don't like that. And so I just didn't care at first. Care. <laughs> well, for me, I was like nervous and like kind of shy because again, this is my first time meeting him. And I was just kind of like, oh, he's kind of cute or whatever. And then, guys, he did the worst thing he could have ever done. He smiled. Really? Really? <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. All right, next question. What dressing do I always wear? What he has on right now. T-shirt and basketball shorts and a cap. Hey. Yep. Can't argue with that one. Plain Jane. She hating. Alright, uh, you always wear, well, when you got, uh, when your hair just seems to be longer. <laughs> you wear a hat. Uh, and you always got, you always got on some leggings, some, something with her feet showing, and the top, it changes from time to time. It's either a big sweater or either some kind of t-shirt that to a college that I don't even like. Yeah. Okay, so the next question we have is how long have we been together? So if you ask me, I said we met back around in 2010, 2011. I was a... Uh, freshman going into my soft, soft, sophomore year of high school um so that's roughly about I don't know. longer than it really was I asked her out back when I was in high school she told me no and so I only say we've been talking for about two years no. I mean, to me, we were Come just on, friends. At, no, at least four. At least four. 
at least four years. Hmm? From two to three years. Next question. Next question is, what was our first road trip? You go. Oh. Well, as far as I remember, it was, I think around 2011 sometime, like the summer or sometime, we, well, my cousin, Sean, the one who's Mustang, I just tried to drive. Shout out to you, Sean. He was in an all-star game for football. He was trying to be a big football star or whatever and he ended up getting hurt and having to have surgery on his arm but yeah we went to somewhere in between here and Grambling and we ended up staying there because we didn't want to drive back so I guess that was the first road trip what you think? um yeah that was kind of with family but our first official I guess you can say um road trip yeah we went to orange beach alabama about two summers ago great times great times all right so for our next question um first thing you noticed about me what was your first thing you noticed about me uh it was out of two things it was out of your voice or your thighs <laughs> yeah she had some some her thighs were not of normal size. I'm just saying. And I was just like, hmm. Well. Hmm. But she, she was a cheerleader or whatever, so she had to, I guess, do squats or something. I don't know. <laughs> and like I said earlier on the first question, the first thing I noticed. Well, the first thing, yeah, first thing that I noticed and really love about this young man right here is his smile. He literally have the perfect, the most perfect teeth and the beautifulest smile. Like, oh. But yes, I love, I love his smile and his teeth. Perfect. And we're going to do one more. The last question, what's our last question we have? Alright, the last question is, what's your favorite feature that I have? Just answer that. And smile. Oh. So let's switch it up. How about this? Let's say what's the thing that aggravates us about each other the most. So for me, I would have to say when he spits. I feel like he spits all the time. We could be in the middle of a conversation, he'll turn around and just... Oh, I, 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 oh, I hate that. Let me explain. <laughs> I know everybody has this this feeling that when you get to talking so much because somebody just don't want to be engaged in the conversation, then your mouth gets a little moist. So, you know, instead of just stopping what you're saying and swallowing, like, because I feel like that's just disgusting. Swallowing, you don't even know what, what, what <laughs> salivates in your mouth but you just turn around spit real quick and then back to the conversation i mean that's justifying it if you ask me but let me ask you something let me get real close and personal with you all right y'all ever i know y'all met that person that it's just they always they just know in the back of their head, in the front of their head, all over their head and the whole body that they are right. <laughs> but yet, 99% of the time, they are wrong. Yeah, that aggravates me so much. And then she tries to argue with me like, like I'm not just stating facts here. Like it's not opinions or anything that I tell her and, it's, and yet she's always right. But I think that's just a woman thing. Oh, babe, I feel like this was nice. So that pretty much wraps up our questions that we had to let you guys know more about us and about me. Yup. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. 
it's gonna be more content more great content coming and yeah leave a comment down in the section below if you like this video that much and you want to see more like that you know feedback is always the key and always remember to do more be more believe more and achieve more thank you guys for watching bye what's going on youtube it's pj with another video coming at you guys this time you always got so excited <laughs> Here. <laughs> no, Paul, stop. I don't like rolling in. The thing that aggravates each other, aggravates us about each other. I absolutely cannot stand when this boy spit. I ain't no boy. He spits all the time. I, ain't I boy. feel. Continue. We're not putting that on there. Continue. I'm gonna start that up. Let's go. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Ah, no. No, four. <laughs> you gonna see when we play it back. You gonna see. Watch. <laughs> She lost on four. <laughs>